All right, well, we're two weeks in and uh, we've got an update on the battery. This morning, I walked past the bike. Now, I've got one of these here. This is that um, basically a, a Heller type uh, voltmeter, if you like. It's also got the USB sockets there and it goes into this bit here where I've, which I've installed and I noticed when I went past now we've got zero volts showing I thought do you know what maybe it isn't in properly so I pulled it out put it back in again still nothing dead I thought right okay interesting so I've got two issues here I thought well I'll get the key and see what's occurring now the last couple of weeks I've not been using this basically my new charger uh, this is specifically for the um, the uh, lithium-ion battery so I've deliberately not used it because I wanted to know how it would perform and I've been watching the digital display and I've not seen it get below 13.1 13.2 and then all of a sudden it's just dropped its charge now However, has it? This is why I bought the anti-gravity battery. Of course, I'm trying the ignition. Nothing. Right. So that suggests I've either got a completely dud battery or it's done exactly what it's supposed to do. Have we got to a stage now? Because I am, of course, running a few items which could have caused it to actually drop its voltage enough for the anti-gravity restart circuitry to kick in easy for me to say so what i'm going to show you of course now using the using the uh the cool seat hack you have to look at look out for that i'll put a link up if you've not seen it you notice i didn't have to use the allen keys now i have got these items what i mentioned before the in of camera which i'll come to in a second this is the the gubbins for that i've also got here the quad lock which we've mentioned before i've got the garmin zumo and another couple of other things that i've got oh that of course the actual item itself the 12 volt socket uh, that i installed which runs the 12 put the uh, sorry the uh, the voltmeter so all these could have been drawing enough now the, the the one thing i thought that may have caused this battery to kick in in that circuitry and i don't know whether that is the case yet is when i move the bike the in of camera kicks in. So that could have been drawing a little bit of electricity. So every time I've moved the bike over the last few days, the battery kick, the, the, the camera kicks in and starts recording front, rear and audio. That's part of the feature of the in of K3. Um, it's like um, if you park up your bike, etc., and somebody knocks it, it'll start recording. So I'm thinking that's been drawing because I've been moving my bike about. The quad lock was left on. It's got a button on the back of the uh, wireless charger, but that was also left on. So we're going to test now to see if the actual restart feature has kicked in. So what you have to do here, see the button? I'm going to press it once. Now that, if the battery has to put itself into a coma, self-induced, that should wake it up. Let's see if it's worked. Oh my word. Well, it clearly has, hasn't it? Because now, all of a sudden, everything's kicked in. So let's get my key. This should give us enough voltage to start the bike. That's pretty special. So that's worked a treat. It's giving me a little bit of confidence. I'll... I'm going to flick it off so I don't give us all carbon monoxide poisoning. That's gold. So that proves to me that the circuitry is working on the battery. I've obviously got a drain on the, um, on the system which makes the battery go drop enough voltage for it to go, you know what, I've had enough. I'm gonna save this to start the bike later. Works a treat. That has worked. So no problems. It's just that I've obviously got some sort of draw on the battery. I've, as I said, I've not used the, the charger until today. And from now on, I'm gonna be using the, uh, the charger to keep it up to speed. But uh, that proves that the uh, restart works. So a couple of points here. Lazy wiring, my bad. Uh, I'm not switched to the ignition for the heated grips and the 
quad lock wireless charger so that's probably what's causing a draw on the battery whilst parked up and i've been saved if you like by the awesome restart feature on the anti-gravity battery so i'll be fixing the wiring on the grips and also the new quad lock usb charging kit is in the post winging its way to me now which i'll be fitting and reviewing very soon so that will hopefully sort out uh, any more draw on the battery uh, other than that i've had no other issues the bikes charged well the obviously the system on a yamaha t7 and a lot of modern bikes is designed for lead acid batteries to charge it's not causing any problems fitting it up with the lithium ion it's charging the lithium ion battery i've not had any other electronical or electrical gremlins occur so it appears to be good thanks for watching this this is part two i'll go forward now uh, another three months and we'll see you on the on part three i might not have a lot to say they might just be working happy days this is what it's about doing a continuous review um if you've not subscribed to the channel please do so and keep in touch see what else we're up to thank you see you on the next one